so we're not gonna waste no time this morning. I already did my pre-trip and um, you know, we got about two and a half hours to get going to Dalton, so we just about to get ahead and get moving. So let's get the day started. Let's get it. If you didn't, baby, please forgive me because I don't give a fuck if you don't. That is your name now. I don't know who you is. If I had to, I would do it again. My partner died, but all my homies still live. I wear my heart on my skin. Can't forget where I've been. You gave me scar us. Beautiful scar delivered here in Dalton, Georgia. I'm just sitting here relaxing. If you guys are familiar with my videos, then you should know or be able to guess where I'm at. You know, I'm at the office, at the lounge, in the driver lounge, just sitting here waiting. Should get another load loaded out of here soon. I only got 17 hours left on my 70, so find me some freight that I can run and get. They looking on the boards and stuff like that. Find me some freight that I can run from here, deliver, that's gonna take me home. So, and I'll do my reset at the house and then get ready to get back out. Today is Monday. Monday meaning that we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So we got four more days, plus I gotta shut down for a day because I am gonna run out of hours since I only got 17 on my 70. So we got about three more running days. Let's see, we ran 270 something miles from Orlando, Florida to Savannah, 600 miles over 600 miles from Savannah to Maryland, all right? We did another over 270 something miles from Maryland to Virginia, Glasgow, Virginia. And from Glasgow, Virginia is another 400 and something miles here to Dalton, Georgia. So we're probably, I would say roughly about 1500 miles already into the pay period. And um, we got about three more days we can run. So let's see what we can get done. Hey man, we lit. Pretty much about to shut down for today. Um, my load don't pick up until in the morning. They tried to give me another Maryland load going back up to Maryland. That pretty much would have got me stuck up there because it was a Maryland Prairieville or something like that. It's gonna take me 11 hours to get there. I got 16 hours left on my 70. So I pretty much would have been stuck, you know, up north. I was like, nah, I didn't want to run that one. So the only thing that we had available for me to run was in the morning going to Orlando. So to get that 3,000 miles, I know people who if you running and you if you running and trying to get as much miles as you can, like I said before, unless you're doing a lot of dropping hooks and your loads are ready, you know what I'm saying, and you don't face no traffic, running 3,000 miles a week is pretty difficult. Don't get me wrong, I've done it, you know what I'm saying, a few times, but to run 3,000 miles a week on a consistent basis, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, not really possible. But um, I'm about to grab something to eat, you know, shut down here for the day, just going to hang out pick up my load in the morning and then we'll head on down to Orlando, Florida. But for now, about to grab something to eat, shut it down for the day. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, keep it positive. Until next time, see you in the next video.